Hi, my name is Mike and I'm with Contrica.com. Today we'll be looking over Icons 8. Icons 8 is a standalone app that you can use on Windows or Mac and search about 56,000 icons. It is a subscription model at about $20 per month or $200 for one year. When I first started using Icons 8, I thought the price was a little bit high. Uh, however, as I started using it more and more, uh, it became pretty useful and I was able to uh, design a little bit faster in my workflow. So you can see the, uh, the pricing model over here and they do have the ability to um, use them in uh, desktop and mobile applications, web templates, print media ads, so basically everything that you could want. Uh, the only thing that you are not allowed to do are resell the icons or sub-license them, obviously, or sharing your account with other people. The app itself, this is it, you can use SVG, EPS, PDFs, or PNGs with the uh, the size of the icons over here labeled, so 100 pixels, 128 pixels, etc., etc. Each of the icons are separated into icon packs. These are the icons that are designed for iOS apps, Windows 10, Windows 8, Material, Android 4, and these are pretty neat, the color icons that you could use on a website or whatever else. Uh, they are drag and drop into Sketch, or what I'm using over here is Affinity Designer. Uh, so uh, what I wanted to do as a demonstration is bring some of these apps in and show them how you can use to prototype, or you can bring them directly into Xcode if you're writing an app. So I'm going to search all of these icons for uh, the Icons 8 logo, and this is an SVG, but I'll switch it to a PNG for now. If I bring this guy over, just drag and drop it right into my design. We'll center it up, and I'll add a few more um, icons. And I'm going to switch this to SVG so that way I can keep that uh, uh, the ability to scale it. And I'm going to make this really big, and we'll center it to where we want on our app prototype. Raise it up a little bit higher. And I'll bring this guy down to this bottom layer. And now let's get some arrows for our button down here. And what I'll do is I'll just go down to arrows down at the bottom. And we'll pick one out. Let's see this right arrow. And I'm still using an SVG right now. And we'll center it up. And let's try to get a fun icon. Uh, let's use this guy. Drop him right in. And that's really how easy it is to, to start using it and prototyping it. And like I said, I can drop it, this right into Xcode if I would like, as well as an image asset, and it will work just fine. Uh, another cool thing, if uh, it's an SVG, uh, these are uh, embedded documents, so if I double click on this, and let's say if I click the curves here, I can start to recolor it. So let's go for a green. And then click back over to the app. And right there, it's updated once again. So just to go over some of the icons, uh, you have a lot of categories down here in the bottom left. And it makes it very easy to pick out the one icon that you need. Uh, or you can search for it in this uh, box up here. So there's our review. Uh, it has been pretty useful. Uh, I would recommend it if you uh, constantly use or need new icons. Uh, they get about 20 requests a day for new icons. Uh, if you have an icon that you need, you can submit a uh, request to have the icons made and they do not charge you. Um, they're pretty quick on updates and turnover as well. Uh, if you would like to check out Icons 8 further, they do have a, f a free version of it. Uh, you can go to icons8.com. Thanks. Bye.